Hey, what's happening everybody? Finally, I'm back talking about some DC stuff once again. Feels good to be home. What's on our docket today though is... Well, okay, look, we're talking about 4chan leaks. I know it's a touchy subject, none of what I'm about to say here is proven true, and there's no way to clarify for sure that any of this will indeed happen. Still, it's kind of cool, and it puts an idea of what a Flashpoint movie could look like in our heads. So, get your grumblings out of the way, and let's take a look at what this leak has to say. So the leak points out that this draft is the most recent script by Joby Harrell, the screenwriter for the recent film King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, and that it's set to be a very loose adaptation of the Flashpoint storyline from Jeff Johns. The Post describes the story as a coming-of-age tale for the Flash, that he's the youngest member of the League and so he's considered inexperienced and a rookie when it comes to the whole crime-fighting thing. He's stated to have just graduated from college and gotten an assistant job in the Central City Police Forensics Lab, and he also has a secret crush on rookie reporter Iris West, who's spending a lot of time at the forensics lab where Barry works. The main villain for the film is, of course, Eobard Thawne, a man from the future obsessed with the Flash to the point where he reproduced the event that gave Barry his powers in order to become a speedster of his own. Much like the comics, Eobard wishes to travel through time to kill Barry's mother and stop him from becoming the Flash, though he later discovers that this is the event that drives Barry to become the Flash, and so, in a way, Eobard relies on Barry existing so that he can become the Reverse Flash. When Barry goes back in time to stop his mother from dying, however, he creates the Flashpoint timeline and essentially makes Thawne a living paradox, giving him full lease to kill his nemesis. Now, here's where the story goes off on a tangent. The heroes of the Flashpoint world have been altered, but they're not exactly like their counterparts in the comic storyline. Superman is still captured by the government, Diana never left Themyscira, but Arthur Curry never discovered Atlantis or his royal heritage. Bruce's parents never died, so instead of becoming a dark knight, he becomes a snobby billionaire, and Cyborg is kept under constant surveillance by Star Labs after his accident. Furthermore, it's revealed that Thawne is the reason each of them never became their respective heroes, and he's effectively become a tyrant of the world with an army of metahuman criminals. It's up to Barry to remind each of the League members of who they truly are, confess his feelings to Iris, and lead the Justice League to overthrow Thawne and set the timeline right again, effectively meaning he'd have to let Thawne kill his mother. It's described in the post as a stealth Justice League movie centering on The Flash, and that currently talks are being made to have everyone come back together for the project. The Post describes that Ben Affleck might be the only one who could have trouble returning, so of course it points out that Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Thomas Wayne is still a possibility. The Post went on to talk about actors being looked at to play Eobard Thawne, with a list including Colin Farrell, Michael Fassbender, Jake Gyllenhaal, Oscar Isaac, Joel Edgerton, Ed Screen, Adam Driver, Dan Stevens, Matthew Good, Eric Bana, Alexander Skarsgård, and Tom Hiddleston. The Post also makes a point to say that these are just names they're thinking about, and there's no guarantee any of these will actually wind up playing the character when a director comes on board, so... You know, very convenient out there. The list for directors is a little slimmer, but it includes some big names, with Robert Zemeckis still being said to be in talks, but including other names like Matthew Vaughn, Duncan Jones, and Michael Bay. But the Post also says that Warner Brothers is in no rush to lock anyone down as of yet. Apparently, this is set to be the tentpole film of the year it comes out, being either 2020 or 2021, according to the poster, with a proposed budget of upwards $200 million, and it's being said to be a de facto Justice League sequel, which would make a bit of sense since it's about three years after the initial one coming out later this year. So, here's my take. I don't know if this is real or not. There's nothing here specifically that lends credence to anything. This is pretty basic info, and a lot of this could have simply been taken from recent reports on the directors and the script writing front. I will say, though, that for an adaptation of Flashpoint, it would work pretty well in my eyes. So, all the more intricate details like the Atlantean Amazon War, Thomas Wayne Batman, and others may not be present, but I think this works in the sense that A, it doesn't make any of our heroes necessarily evil, just fallen off from their usual path, and B, it streamlines everything a little bit more to be focused on Barry's development as a character and focuses the narrative on a single enemy in Thawne. I never thought a direct adaptation would be possible anyway, Way, but I think with what's described here, it could actually make do for a pretty compelling film and could strengthen the Flash as a character and everyone around him. Again, though, this is all to be taken with a grain of salt, so what do you guys think? Would you like this as the supposed story for the Flashpoint movie, or do you think we'll get something a little closer to the comic? As always, if you want to stay up to date with the Hybrid Network and our videos, subscribe to our channel, visit our Facebook page, and give us a like on Twitter. And if you want to see us grow and develop, consider donating to our Patreon, where not only does it help us keep the light on, but it also helps us to make higher quality content for you, the viewer. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you all next time.